What is up YouTube? It's uh, Faith of Raven Repair Co. So I got this X1 Carbon in the mail the other day. Uh, very nice laptop, very light, very thin. So the first thing I decided to do, of course, is to uh, Hackintosh it. Uh, so I could make it my own personal little MacBook Air killer. So uh, the OS itself works just fine. Uh, there are a handful of issues though. For example, uh, audio doesn't work. As you can see, nothing's detected. Volume buttons do work though, which is a nice touch. Uh, track point doesn't work. I don't think the volume buttons work yet. That's something I'm going to have to work on. Uh, and I think I already said, but Wi-Fi doesn't work. But apart from that, most other features seem to be working just fine. I mean, the OS itself is snappy enough. It takes a bit to load, but I think that's because of a bunch of unnecessary kecks that I have. Uh, if I wanted to load something like Firefox, that also works just fine. Uh, so basically I'm going to be working on this for the next week or so. Uh, I'm not going to be uploading the kecks or anything just yet because, not the kecks, the, uh, the entire EFI folder, because I want to be able to basically perfect this before I pop this onto GitHub or anything, because I didn't even expect this to start working, but from how well it does in fact work, I definitely want to make more progress on this. Also, as you can see here, I have it replacing a MacBook Air. It's just as light as one too. So, really, who needs a MacBook when you can just spend a couple hours with a ThinkPad? Uh, but yeah, I hope this helps uh, other X1 Carbon first-gen owners realize that uh, you can indeed install Mac OS on here. You are going to run into a couple of hurdles, like I have, of course, but the beginnings of the installation are simple enough. You just need to make uh, Clover USB with Mac OS install, then find the appropriate texts. Also, uh, if you're installing this, I did notice that there are a lot of uh, boot hangs if you don't use the Apple Intel CPU power management option in Clover, it like 90% of the time would just lead to my OS like crashing before it booted, but enabling that made it, uh, made it just boot just fine. But, uh, yeah, hope you're all doing well and I'll see you on the next video.